that's called Africa. You see what BET Comedy do, Deaf Comedy Jam. He is the African King Comedy. Start clapping now, y'all. Start clapping now. For Michael Blackstone. What's up? In the building. Welcome to my basement. The fuck you looking at? What's up, motherfucker? White man, look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Turn up, everybody turning up? Turn up. All right, listen, there are rules of turning up. Everybody cannot turn up, okay? I have rules. Fellas, listen to me, okay? If your lights and your gas in your house is off, you can't turn up. You have to turn down. <laughs> if you live in your mother's basement and you sleep on the couch, guess what? You can't turn up. <laughs> turn the fuck down. If you're six months behind on your child support and you pay $50 a week, you can't turn up. <laughs> Turn the fuck down. <laughs> Ladies, if your kid is in the car sleeping and you're in a club, you can't turn up. <laughs> Bitch, turn down. So just are the rules, okay? Are you ready to turn up? Yeah. Look at this big man. You are big as shit. Are you pregnant? What the fuck? Hey, put the camera on this motherfucker. Goddamn. I like a beef jerky to you, don't I? <laughs> what do I look like to you? Like a roast, hot, burnt hot dog? He's a big motherfucker. I bet you beat your dick to the cooking channel, don't you, motherfucker? I damn fried chicken, this motherfucker. Ooh, my goodness, beef love. Man, the devil is a liar. Then spaghetti. <laughs> I got my nigga on point in the building. Give a big hand for my good friend of my on point. Come up here, come on. <laughs> come on up, man. this is so good. Right, come, come. Good man, are you turned up? Turn it down. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn it down for what? I'm, I'm a professional stripper. Don't worry about it. Oh, 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 oh. If I have to turn up, the lady gonna get real hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about the lady. Don't worry. Everything else works just fine. The shoes is turned off, bro. <laughs> I want to do you, motherfucker. <laughs> I told my mama I'm going to be somebody today. I said, who you, she said, who are you going to be? I said, I'm going to be Mike Blackson. I'm going to fuck it up. She said, you talking about that dark one? I said, yeah, that dark one, motherfucker. She said, you don't even say it right. But she said, I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. Was you listening? I told a fucking faggot. Couldn't have no fucking cookies and milk. Shit. <laughs> Ain't no fucking thing wrong with that nigga leg. Trying to collect a check, motherfucker. Y'all ready to keep the show going tonight? Ready to keep the show going? The first nigga that's coming to my basement is a very good friend of mine. Originally from D.C., but now lives here. Give a hand for King Kidar, y'all. Let me hear it.
sir. That good pussy in here. That's low. Yes, sir. <laughs> Head in there, can't you smell it? <laughs> Turn to your left. <laughs> Can't you smell it? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You're running in the bad. That bad poo poo, too. It sound like this. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. When my ladies that say ow, when my hoes that say ho, I knew it was something. I think that was a man, though. I think that was a man. Oh. He a big hoe too. Ho! Ho! I see you big player. I see you big player. How many of y'all got kids? Ain't nobody got no kids? Y'all shame like I am. I have a few, huh? <laughs> I don't know what they were huh? I got a few, huh? Yes, I do. I got cute kids, you know. You know, I'm going through daddy care now. You know, my kids getting big, you know. Just became a granddaddy. Y'all get that love? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say it at the basement, you know, my daughter just called me the other day, yes sir. Day before yesterday after my birthday, I said, Daddy, I did it. I said, Daddy, you did it. I did it, I did it, I swear it, I did it, yes sir. 18 years old. Now I got to raise the damn baby. <laughs> you know I got to raise that damn baby. She don't know about that damn baby at 18. She gonna say, Daddy, I like babies. <laughs> really? When you can drop them off? <laughs> Hey, when you can drop that baby off, it's all good. But when you sit up every day, <laughs> nobody wants to see that man. <laughs> no sir, no sir. Every day, and just think if the baby turned out ugly. <laughs> oh, come on now, y'all know that y'all see some ugly ass babies in your lifetime before. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you ain't never mess with the baby when you got the little bottle. <laughs> if he's somebody else's baby, you take the bottle up to the baby mom. The baby like. <laughs> somebody leave out the room. <laughs> the ugly ass baby. Y'all seen that baby. Some of y'all ain't got smart kids either. You think they smart, but they ain't smart. How many kids, how many of y'all in here got kids that got 2.5 average? School. Oh, ain't nobody trying to claim no dumb kid. <laughs> Boy, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. 3.0? 3.0, clap. He play good sports, but can he read? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How about the ladies? The ladies, y'all doing good? Y'all doing good with the men out here? We them boys. Hear the news on? We them boys. You know they be in the car. We them. We the boy, we the, we the boy. I thought about it, come on now, it's too much going on in the world now. Ladies, I always see y'all by yourself, what's happening? Ain't nobody got the no more. Ain't nobody got the good no more. I'm seeing all these ladies by themselves and all these guys by themselves, what's going on? Hello, my friend, how are you today? Hello, my friend. I like, I like Latino people, yes sir. Ain't nothing like a little rice on Thursdays, huh? Some cold beer. At least my bed does. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I don't hate, don't hate. You Latino? What are you? Egyptian and Chinese. What? I like that. You Chinese girl? Yes, sir. That's something new for me. Yes, it is. I can learn to live. A gypsy and Chinese, see what you did to me, girl? I jump into that. But y'all look good. We in Los Angeles, California, all the beautiful women in here. I see you sexy. Yes, you are beautiful. Chocolate women are divine. White women, you blow my mind. <laughs> Black and Chinese. Ah! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Yes, sir. That's that. Ooh, na na. <laughs> Look what you done started. <laughs> Ooh, na na. <laughs> Somebody gonna pay some. Ah! Yes, sir. I love a good-looking girl. Yes, I do. Ugly women, they cool. Take out when you're hungry, you know. <laughs> you, know you ain't gonna go somewhere, you know. You don't feel like spending no money. Call one of your ugly friends. What's up, girl? What you doing? Know? What you doing? Know? I want to take you out to eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bet you do. Ooh, na na. After I eat, I call. Ooh, na na. Ooh, na na. Always home, ain't it, fellas? Ooh, nah, nah. When you find ooh, nah, nah, shit, ooh, nah, nah, always home. Not the little ratchet. 
Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Mm-mm. I can't deal with her. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You got twenty dollars. Uh-huh. Ask for something that's gonna mean something, goddamn. Oh, ooh, nana. Yes, I do, cause ooh, nana always home, ain't it, fellas? Ooh, nana. When you find ooh, nana, she ooh, nana always home. Not the little ratchet. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Mm-mm. I can't deal with her. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You got twenty dollars. Oh. Ask for something that's gonna mean something, goddamn. You know, <laughs> you know. Mess around, get a baby, a broke baby. <laughs> you understand me? I like being chocolate too, you know. Chocolate has come a long way. Ladies, y'all like chocolate? Say hello. How about that? I like how you said it. The rest of y'all can get the finger. <laughs> hey, I heard y'all like, I ain't messing with no dog skin. And got me falling out of the building. <laughs> y'all just now getting that hit for real. <laughs> That's when they halfway dead and their eyes be still moving. <laughs> yes, sir. You seen that before. Oh, get your beautiful. You are so beautiful. Oh, what's your name? Huh? I never thought about that. These hoes ain't loyal. Why would they be? <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. You think? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> and they be mad when they say it too. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> All right, do some fun while I rock out here. I enjoy Michael Blackson's basement. Y'all get it for Michael Blackson. <laughs> Beautiful brother. You mother sucker. And <laughs> but I like to, I like to get out enjoying myself sometimes. I like to, you know, get out and take a ride sometime. Y'all like to get in your car? I say y'all like to get in your car. I'm gonna ask you a question I'm expecting you to answer. <laughs> you do hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, right? <laughs> now we're gonna take a ride. We're gonna take a good ride. You want to ride with the nigga? Let's roll, my nigga. Come on, nigga. My hitter. Now, you know you can't ride without your chair. Grab a chair, man. I don't even know if I want you to be my friend. You not thinking. <laughs> he just going to walk. Doo, 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 doo. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan? <laughs> Jonathan, we're going to switch your name. We're going to make you into a black man. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, my nigga. You understand me? Yeah. Your new name is Rashid. Rashid. <laughs> What's the new name, y'all? Rashid. What the new name is? Rashid. What's your new name is? Rashid. Yeah. Hey, hey. You sound like a black man. <laughs> now, you got you a black man now. You want, you want to loosen up, slide a little bit. Grab, you know, grab your manhood. You know how we do. You say, grab your manhood. I say, grab your manhood. Ah! A little snugger fit, but that's all good. <laughs> I was in the real black man. Ha! <laughs> Go for the leg. <laughs> Go for the leg. <laughs> Go for the leg. <laughs> what we gonna do is we gonna roll out. All you gotta do is follow my lead. When I turn, you turn. When I lean, you lean. You dig that? You good? My hit him. You ready? All right. Put your leg inside the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real car, man. So if I'd have took off and your leg was dragging like this. Ooh, na na. <laughs> Look what you done said. You ready to do that? Let me see what I got on the radio to parlay to. Yeah, this is a story of famous dog. With a dog that changed his tail. I said, Ooh, bam. Say. Bam. He's a happy dog. That's it. Now go with the Look music. There you go. All right, here we go. All right, we better come up on that star, man. You dig that? Shawty Lee. Lee. Shawty Lee. Shawty Lee. Bring it back, good. And that bounce. Yeah. Hey, could you hand me that the glove compartment? Nasty dogs. Nasty dogs.
man, get the hell out of my car. <laughs> my man, my man. Yo, peace and love, I'm Ken Kida. The basement, Michael Blackson's house, hello. King Kida, one more time, DC's finest. <laughs> Keep the show running. Y'all ready for some more show? Make some back and rest in the back of the basement. <laughs> Coming to the stage, one of my favorite young comedians from Connecticut. Anybody from Connecticut? Nobody is from Connecticut. The nigga from Connecticut are not from Connecticut, motherfucker. Because they're all in jail except for this nigga. I met him in Bridgeport, Connecticut. In Bridge, let me tell you how tough Bridgeport is. The pastor is in jail right now, motherfucker. That's how tough this city is. But this motherfucker is funny as shit. I saw him grow up. Now he's one of the greatest thing ever. Give a big hand for my little nigga, Mr. Chris Clark. Yeah, keep it going for Michael Blackson, y'all. Keep it going for Michael Blackson. That motherfucker. You African motherfucker. What's up? I'm originally, I'm originally from uh, Jamaica, where I wasn't really born there. My mother and father was born there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really talk Jamaican. That shit only comes out, like, when I'm pissed off. You know what I'm saying? That shit just come out like a fucking werewolf. You know what I mean? Like, like if somebody pissed me off, do some bullshit, that just come out. It'll, it'll, like, pop out like the Michael Jackson Thriller video. You know what I'm saying? I remember I was dating this chick. You know what I'm saying? Took her to a restaurant, and I took her. You know what I'm saying? So I said to her, I was like, baby. You know I'm different, right? I'm not like most men. She was like, you crazy. You know what? You need to chill out. You was bugging. I thank you for taking me out to this five-star restaurant. But I got to go because my boyfriend's going to get jealous. <laughs> you mean to tell me you have a fucking boyfriend? <laughs> Niggas came out to jail. <laughs> it's close to midnight. <laughs> Stupid. My mother, my mother's something else, man. She, my mother got, a, she got a strong ass accent. You know what I'm saying? Strong ass accent, and she like, she's like a big religious person. You know what I'm saying? All she do is listen to like gospel music. You know what I'm saying? But up to recently, she started listening to like Drake and Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? And she'll sing the Drake and Rihanna, but fuck up the lyrics, and then substitute it with like gospel hymns and shit. Like this one time, she was cleaning up the kitchen. She was spraying the shit down. She was like. Shine bright like a Jesus. Shine bright like a Jesus. No new church. No new church. Like, mom, what the hell are you talking about? That shit, that shit don't go hand in hand. My mother, she's something, yo, something else, big time religious person. I remember like, like growing up back in the days and shit. Like my mom, it was tough. Like say like Halloween. You know what I'm saying? She ain't let us go trick or treating because she thought. Like, if you get dressed up as a monster and go outside, you like worshiping the devil, you know what I'm saying? So what my mom did was she would use like household supplies on us, you know what I'm saying? Like this one time she took like a big ass tub of baby powder and poured it all over me and my sister and was like, okay, go outside, you guys are ghosts. <laughs> and all my friends was like, Chris, you don't look like a ghost, you look like a crackhead, that's what you look like. What like, the fuck, that shit? They, like, all the parents on my street used to judge our financial status based off of the costumes we wore. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids would go to the, ring the doorbell and shit. Like, trick or treat, they would put candy in their bags. And when it came to me and my sister, they would put, like, canned food in our bags and shit. This one guy, this motherfucker was crazy. This nigga dropped the application in my bag. And he was like, tell your father to call me because this shit is getting out of hand. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. I'm a single father. Thank you. Appreciate that. But only on the weekends. Only on the weekends. I can't be around that little cock blocker every day. Hell no. Yeah. I'm going to be fucking up all my pussy. You know what I'm saying? My son is something else, man. This dude, I don't know, man. All he do is be on YouTube all day, man. This dude, he had like a class presentation monologue to do for school. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he went to school, came back with two test scores and shit. He had 100 on the monologue and a zero on the person he chose. Apparently he was supposed to cho choose somebody like very liked and real popular and highly viewed. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, how the teacher gonna give you two test grades? You know what, let me see what you did. I wanna see, Tell me, let me see the monologue what you did. My son was like, well, 
I first went downstairs to get me a cold pop. And I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Lord Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Anybody got time for that? I was like, Chris, <laughs> Sweet Brown is not important. He was like, Daddy, she got 50 million views. <laughs> um, originally from Connecticut. Originally from Connecticut. Live in Harlem now, which is cool. Harlem is... Harlem is, it's, it's all right, man. They could tell that I'm not from Harlem, like, because everybody walk around with their true religion jeans, sag down, mad low, like, right between they, they waist, and they can't really walk. So when they walk, they walk like this and shit, like this shit. Come on, let's be walking like. <laughs> they be having a little, little Gucci Louis Vuitton belt, and they tuck it and make sure they show, they talk like this. When they talk, they be like, yo, word to my mother. Word to mama. They will, yo, they will rock anything with that Louis Vuitton Gucci belt. It don't matter what they got on. That belt got to be showing. I seen this dude in a full champion sweatsuit on Louis Vuitton belt. Like, word of my mother. That's it. Word of my mother. That's how they talk. They begin the sentence and end the sentence. Word to my mother. Word to my mother. Like, oh, where are you? You know what I mean? Word of my mother. Like, oh, you do stand up? Word. Word of my mother. I'm a funny dude, too. Word of my mother. Word, word, word. I had got, I got into an argument with this cat, you know what I'm saying, on my block, man. That shit got real serious. We about to have like a fist fight. That shit got serious. He was like, yo, word to my mother, Chris, that's to smack the shit out of you. Word to my mother. You know what I mean? Word to my mother, that's smack. You know what? I gave you them papers, and I put that shit right in your box. Don't even play me like that. Next time you come out your mouth, I'm going to smack the shit out of you. Word to my mother. And that was the mailman talking to me, right? <laughs> Give me my goddamn mail, motherfucker. This shit. Give me my goddamn mail. Word to my mother. That should be the hashtag. Hashtag word to my mother. Smack the shit out of you. Word to my mother. Starting to uh, like work out and lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Watch what I eat. But I came down here, man. I, I'm a sucker for Mexican food, man. That shit is cheap and good. You know what I mean? That shit, I'm broke. I'm like, fuck it. But every time, yo, Mexi every time I eat Mexican food, man, it's like a nightclub fiesta going on. In my stomach, these motherfuckers in there like these girls ain't lying. And I'm, I can't really use like public restrooms like that when I'm out. I can't do it. Like public restrooms, hell no. Like I want you call like a shy shitter. Any shy shitters in the house? Shy shitter say who? I'm the only shot. The rest of y'all niggas get the shit. No problem. I'm the only one. And get the fuck out of here. Some bullshit. Shot shit up for life, baby. That's what it is. Shot shit. That's the hashtag too. Hashtag shot shit up for life. Word to my mother. I'm a shot shit. I can't do it, man. Mm -hmm. Shot shit. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I don't like. I don't trust like public restrooms. I can't do it, man. I can't go public restrooms, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm in there. It's like I'm not supposed to go, and I can't wait, man. As soon as I hear that door crack. My shit go right back in my butt like a gopher, right? Right back up in the party like, oh, shit, I thought you was leaving. Now I'm back up in this motherfucking niggas. These girls ain't. I'm <laughs> shy shitter, man. I can't. I don't know. I think, like, like, the person who designed these public restrooms, they're all the same. You ever notice that shit? Each stall, when they have, like, the six stall, each stall is separated by the three-inch gap in each stall. Like, when you're going to sit down, you be seeing motherfuckers like, God damn this nigga! Looking at me, got a fight! You be trying, you can't, you know what I mean? You, you, okay, you know. Coming to the stage right now, this guy is a superstar from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. See this nigga wilding out? Yeah. See my last comic standing? Yeah. He's one of the first me not called to come and hang out in the basement. Get up for Carlos Miller! Hey, am I this big? Am I dick, 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 oh, dick, dick, oh, big old. All right, stop. Let me quit for that shit go platinum. Yo, wake up in the morning, like, nigga, big old dick on the radio. That's my shit. That nigga low stupid. Bitch got a body by the wig. Let me stop. <laughs> Michael Blackson's comedy basement got me in this bitch. Nigga tried to pay me with six goats and two chickens. I was like, nope, I want some regular money. So his necklace, he got the cure for Ebola in that necklace. 
You crack that bitch open, it's the antidote. <laughs> With the little Miguel, fuck you. The little Miguel, he got the little flip up too. Let, 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 let my love done you. Yes, fuck that. Shouldn't have never let me in the basement. Where the rest of the house at? <laughs> the fuck the rest of the house. Much love to all the Hispanic, Latino, whatever the fuck y'all like. I don't know. People from, like, like hot sauce on shit. I called some Mexicans. They were like, fuck that. We're not Mexicans. We're Latino. I was like, that's the same shit. I thought, I don't fucking know. Hispanic people confuse me because they do shit and say they don't know how to do it. You ever try to talk to them? They're like, no English. I'm like, bitch, that's English. <laughs> you don't know nothing else? You, you stopped right there? I don't like the ones that was born here. I like the ones that woke up last Thursday and was like, Migo, let's go to America. <laughs> Them are my ones. I fuck with the real Hispanics. <laughs> California is a weird ass place. You see a lot of interracial couples out here. I'm from the South, that shit's still illegal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas with white girls, I was like, nigga, do the police know about this shit? God damn, they just holding hands and kissing in the mouth? Man, they catch you with a white girl down south, that's possession with intent, nigga. They, that's a felony, they will lock your ass up. It's real in the field. It's hard to find a good ass woman these days, man, because women don't suck dick like that in California. I asked the girl to suck my dick, she was like, uh-uh, dick got carbs in it, huh? I'm not finna put no dick in my mouth, what? It ain't nothing like some good ass head. Man, you ever had some head so good? Well, maybe not you. You ever had some head so good you wanted to tell her a secret? You just be standing up there getting it like, shit, I keep my money in my sock, shit. It's $60 in my back pocket if you want it. Nigga, that head ain't no, you ever had some head so good, you take a nap and it feel like you've been asleep for a long time and then you wake up, it was only 15 minutes. You wake up like shit, it ain't but 7.30, I could. I love head, I had a freak at the crib give me some head about two Tuesdays ago. Did some shit I ain't never seen before, she folded the dick in half and sucked the middle? I was like, Jesus. Look around the room at all the dudes who didn't laugh. They dick ain't got no middle. <laughs> am I dick big? Am, am I dick? Okay, stop. I love head. Women love head more than we do. Did you know that? Women love head. They like it so much, they'll check to make sure you still eating the pussy. You ever seen that? Like, you eat the pussy, she's like, mm, mm. Oh, she was just checking to make sure you were still eating it. I'm a self-taught pussy eating expert. I taught myself. I know how to do the shit so good. You ever eat, eat it so good she pooed it? <laughs> I learned how to eat that shit so good, I learned how to breathe through my eyes. That's how serious, <laughs> fuck you. I'm committed to the game. I die about this shit. See, you can't even talk about that shit no more because the gay shit, they done made, they make straight people feel weird that we don't like that shit. Fuck that. If you gay, do your motherfucking thing. I don't do nothing gay. I don't even eat long french fries. I break a french fry up, four or five pieces, my nigga. I don't, I don't do a lot of shit I used to do. I don't eat m ms with the nuts in them. I'm not putting no nuts nowhere near my mouth. I stopped eating Snicker bars. They look just like dicks. They got veins on the top and everything. I'm, the commercial confused me. Hungry, why wait? Cause it looked like a dick. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not even homophobic, I'm just gay paranoid, nigga. <laughs> Stop drinking Gatorade. If you listen to the commercial, that shit weird. You, at the end of the Gatorade commercial, it's just like, Gatorade. <laughs> is it in you? Ah, uh, why the fuck, uh, what is that? 
Why the fuck are they putting Gatorade in people? Really pass you, let me. You ain't getting his back, Mike. <laughs> you ain't getting his back. He got all this money to wear all this fancy, flashy shit. <laughs> but the deposit gave, you gave me, my check bounced. That's some black people shit. How you got all this shit on, dude? You got a mortgage on. Well, you actually got a house on. But the little bullshit check you give me, Mike, it bounced. You owe me that $12 for that bounced check for you, too. You African prick, because I know if I did it to you, you want that 12 bucks. Really, dude? You need it like that? You got two fucking Fiskers, dude. I ain't here to tell your business, but you got a lot of shit, Mike. Fuck you and your $40. All right, let's start this shit. What's up, everybody? Welcome out to Michael Blackson's basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's your shit too, ain't it, Mike? <laughs> you can make your basement like this. Nice. But you know what, Mike? There's one thing. LA don't have basements. <laughs> you lying prick. <laughs> give me my $12. All right, give it up for all our comedians. Start real quick. Let me start this shit. I'm tired, man. I'm 49, about to be 50. I'm tired, man. Like, if you're in this room and you're 21 to 29, life is easy for you. You do things spontaneously. It's cool. Somebody could call you up at midnight. What's up? What you doing? Nothing. What's up? Want to go to the club? Let's go. Be 30 and above and somebody calls you up at midnight. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? I'm sleeping. Don't you ever call here at this time. I'll kill you. Lose my number, Ma. Ma, lose my number. You will snap. You need your sleep. You ever wake up five minutes before your alarm clock goes off? What the fuck? I have five more minutes to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna be so tired at work. I'm not gonna be able to function. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to call in, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> you need your sleep when you get old. I got all kind of aches and pains now, I'm 49. Biblical times, 900, 900. You gotta work in this day and age, so you're 65 to get social security. Fucking, what about then? You live to be 900, what do we gotta work till? You're 865? <laughs> Fuck you. Can you imagine child support? You pay now till you're 18. What do you gotta pay till then? To this kid's like 400. Like you get out the fucking house, kid, you're 400. I wouldn't wanna live then. Fuck that. Getting old ain't no joke. Everybody in this room, if you're young, 21 to 29. This wasn't a, a planned event. This was spontaneous. Somebody called you up today at 6 o'clock. Said, what are you doing? Nothing. What's up? Want to go to a comedy show? Let's go. 30 and above, this was a planned event. Somebody called you up last week. Said, hey, what are you doing on Tuesday? I don't know why. What's up? You got to ask questions. Want to go to a comedy show? Where is it at? What time does it start? 8? Let's see, I get off work at 5. I'll be home by 5.30. If I get a nap, I'll go. If I get a nap, I'll go. You need a nap. You ain't going nowhere. We've all seen that one person in the club like this. First thing we thought is this dude's wasted. No, he's not. He's sleeping. He didn't get a nap today. You dragged him out of the house. Everybody in this room, 30 and above, is holding a fart right now. Not because they're scared it might smell. They're scared they might shit on themselves. <laughs> Ain't no joke, you run out of treadmill. You're like, what the fuck? They just come out. 
Ken Ole ain't no joke. I know it's, 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 it's a privilege, it's not a right, but again, oh, I fucking aches and pains. Like, I'll be fine. You ever go to sleep and you're perfectly fine? You wake up and your ankle's killing you, you're like, the fuck? How'd I twist my ankle in my sleep? Was I hooping in my sleep? Ankle's killing you. I trained for the Olympics in 92. I used to run a 4 3 40. I used to be a beast. I used to dunk a basketball. I used to be a beast. Nowadays, I'll just be walking. I'm perfectly fine. I'll be like, the fuck? What the fuck? Like, man, I'm like, my leg, hang out a minute. My leg, wait, wait. Walking around the Beverly Center, fucking like you're crippled. Getting <laughs> old, no joke, man. I need a nap now. I'm tired from this shit. <laughs> Eyes are always ripping. Are you high? No, I ain't high. I'm fucking tired. Don't take offense to what somebody says. Like, I love Hispanic people, Mexicans. We got them here in, in L.A. just like we got them in Chicago. You find Mexicans there. I, you, Mexicans work when they don't work. You see them at Home Depot waiting for a gig. You're like, well, no, I'm fucking Mexicans. They're waiting to work. Mexicans are the hardest working people in the world. They don't bitch and complain about nothing. The yellow people, Asian and Hispanic com community, don't say shit about nothing. The only two races of people that bitch and complain about everything are black people and white people. Like, I did a show for some Mexicans one time because I'm a people person. And I relate with everybody because I don't do, like, I don't have, like, jokes that pertain to a certain race or demographic or anything like that. I talk real-life shit. I did a show for Mexicans one time. I thought the show was going to suck because when I pulled up into the parking lot of the venue I was performing at, there was, like, six cars. I'm like, fuck, ain't nobody here. I got inside. It was packed just like this. I said, damn, because you guys ride heavy, deep, deep. That's all I'm saying, deep. There's a phrase, there's a saying about white people. There's a phrase, they ride deep, am I lying? Deep, like nine, nine deep, comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. And have you ever seen them at Home Depot or Walmart? None of them are dressed up but the one little girl. She got like a wedding dress on. This fucking kid is eight. Where is this kid going? Like is this little bitch getting married today? She's eight. None of the rest of the family's dressed up but this little kid from, she's eight. I'm closing to this. Because in, as, as indifferent as we think we are as people, we're not different. We're exactly the same. We all cry, we all hurt, we all have to shower, we stink, we gotta eat when we're hungry. We all mourn when somebody dies. We all do the same shit. We just do things culturally different. That's where the differences lie. Like I already said, black people, they're extra. They can't do shit normal. White people, there's a phrase, there's a saying, plain Jane, that's us, that's what we are. It's not good, it's not bad, it is what it is. I'll give you two examples and I'm getting off. White people, how do we sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Plain, ordinary, that shit sucks. Watch the black people, and black people, how do you sing happy birthday? Look at this, look at the room. Look at the energy. You feel the energy change, you see this, look at this shit. And it's not even his birthday. Look how happy this dude is. Did you feel the energy change extra, over the top shit? See how happy this dude just got? It's not even his birthday. Not one white person sang and chimed in with me. Not one. Even they know our version sucks. And black people, for the record, your birthday's only one day, sir. It's not the whole month. You can't change the rules. Let's say for the sake of this joke, I'm getting off ready for the sake of this joke, it's winter time. Winter, winter time, not this LA winter shit. I've been here for nine years, I live in Torrance, but I'm from Chicago. And it's not Illinois, Mike, it's Illinois. Damn, shit. <laughs> It's winter time, Chicago winter. We're getting ready to leave. A white guy might be the first, because it's a comedy club, second show's about to start, so we gotta leave to let the other people in. We get ready to walk out, white guy might be the first guy coming and we go, hey buddy, how is it outside? It's cold out there, put your jacket on, bundle up. Thank you, sir, thank you. You ask a black dude that same question, he's the first guy, hey buddy, how's it outside? Whoa, shit! Whoa, shit! Whoa, shit! Whoa, shit! Yeah! It's cold as a motherfucker out there. I don't know how cold a motherfucker is, but apparently it's cold. Now, who do you believe? Do you believe Tim the white guy or Tyrone the black guy? Who sold you on how cold it really is? I'm going with Tyrone. Tim didn't sell me. <laughs> All right. If I've offended anybody, kiss my ass. I got time for that. Anyways, 
Support my man, Michael Blackson. I love this dude to death. God bless y'all. Be safe going home, man. Get my chain back, white man. You first called me the N-word. You're my N-word, too. Neighbor, neighbor. My nigga. Randy Pauls, can you give my hand one more time? For my music. For music. For music. That nigga's in every fucking TV show, you short greedy bitch. I wanna eat too, motherfucker. Think like a man too. Think like a midget three, motherfucker. Ride along, ride on a chunk of cheese, you short bastard. They laugh at your height. Let me explain. Explain why you need a ladder to eat pussy. I'm not hating, I'm congratulating. <laughs> Indirectly. <laughs> Last year, Kevin Hart caught a DUI. That nigga was driving his Escalade power truck <laughs> with a built-in car seat. The police searched the car and found a sippy cup filled with Hennessy. <laughs> they thought that nigga was an alcoholic baby. Kevin Hart, you got the heat bitch dance. Give another he bitch dance to my nigga Meat Mills. He gonna go on Twitter and call me ugly. How you call me ugly and you look like me? <laughs> Motherfucker, we both ugly. Meat Mills, you get the he bitch dance. Next heat bitch dance goes out to that light skinned nigga, Drake. <laughs> Go make a song, talk my bottom to the top. Motherfucker, you grew up in the suburb with a swimming pool and a housekeeper. You went from the top to the top. I grew up from the bottom to the top. I grew up in a hand me down dashiki for my grandfather. I wore the same shoes from kindergarten to high school. Yes, it was serious. When that shit got too tight, my father cut out the front and made it flip-flops. That's bottom to the top. Drake, he got the heat bitch dance. The next heat bitch dance goes out to Kim Ye. Yes, Kanye and Kim. How to get married and don't invite the most important person, the one that made Kim Kardashian famous. That's Ray J's dick. <laughs> Ray J talking about he hit it first. Nigga, try again, motherfucker. <laughs> Kim Kardashian been fucking since she was 12 years old. 15 other niggas could have made that same song. If every nigga that ever fucked Kim Kardashian got together and made a song and a video, that shit would look like We Are The Word video. <laughs> Kim Kardashian has had more black men in her than Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> Kim, yeah, y'all get the heat bitch dance. <laughs> Did y'all get the heat bitch dance? Welcome to Blackson's Basement. I'm your host, Michael Blackson. First nigga coming to my basement right now is from Brooklyn, New York. Give a big hand for Sugar Sean. my song right there, play that beat. Nah, 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 nah. That's that joint, you know that joint, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's up, people, y'all good? All right, chilling out. I'd like to see all y'all out here tonight. This is looking good, LA is nice and cold right now. We changing seasons all on the same day, ain't that crazy? <laughs> Niggas got coats on and sweaters running around, it's getting crazy out here. 
Do I got my daughters and anybody here got kids? Who got kids? Clever, you got kids. Who got kids? So y'all gonna feel me on this, right? I got a baby girl, I got my daughter, my little girl, Kennedy, six years old. I believe a father is the first introduction to a little girl as the first man and boyfriend that she ever had in her life. Straight up. So I believe certain things you shouldn't do with little girls. Especially certain foods you shouldn't make them eat. Because it injects sexual thoughts into their mind. My little daughter is six to this day. She has never eaten a pickle, a banana, a hot dog, a snicker bar. I'm not giving no little girl a candy bar with veins in it. What you trying to teach her? I didn't even let my daughter eat buffalo wings or blue cheese so she don't get used to having white shit on her mouth. <laughs> I don't even let her goggle Listerine so she don't work that muscle. <laughs> Hell no. That's my baby. Straight up. So I'm gonna tell you this. Me and my wife together 15 years. 15 years, y'all hear how I think, 15 years. Don't clap, say my condolences, cause that shit ain't been easy. <laughs> I'm about to bury him backsman basement, give it a heat dance. <laughs> the African nene. <laughs> well, cause the longer we together, it's the worse that they mouth get. My wife be trying to assassinate my character when we argue. And all we argue about is the kids. Cause we grew up different, we was raised different. So you hear how I think about my daughter. Guess what my wife did? She signed my daughter up for activity that I would have never signed my daughter up for a day in my life. Guess what she signed up for? Gymnastics. Oh, hell no. I don't need my little girl being that flexible. That's bullshit. It's crazy. I walked in my house today. I had the shock of my life when I walked in. My little girl said, Daddy. I said, what up, Kennedy? She said, guess what I learned today? I said, what you learned, baby? She laid on the floor and put her legs behind her head. No, nigga. No. No! Then it gets worse. Then my little eight-year-old son thought it was funny to take paper napkins while my daughter on the floor and start throwing it on my daughter. Oh! Oh! All I can hear, come to the stage, Kenny. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Hell no. So I got mad, I spared on my wife. Me and my wife got into a big argument over there. I said, Cheryl, how dare you put Kenny in activity and not talk to me first? She lost her mind. She said, first of all, nigga, who you think you talking to? You got one daughter, and her name Kennedy Lynn Marie Riley, not Cheryl. I said, yo, listen, I gotta get on a plane, fly to LA, go do my comedy show, and I get back, we talk about this. She said, yo, hold on, Mr. Comedian. Go do your little comedy show. Cause guess what? Comedy's a great career move for you. Cause it's just like your life, a joke. Woo! Woo! Mike told y'all I was from Brooklyn, right? Yo, any of y'all ever get so mad at your woman that you do something gay but can't believe you did that shit? She called me a loser, came my career. I said, bitch, you's a loser. <laughs> I said, oh shit, I'm homosexual. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh shit. I love my African people, I love my African people, but they're the most racist people on the fucking planet. Yes, they are. I was at my job, doing what I do best. I was sleep. <laughs> Passed out. Don't you hate motherfuckers that come to your job that act like the supervisor, but they not the fucking supervisor? Get you on your nerves. I'm passed out. This African dude will come to me. His name is Mr. Right? He'll come try to wake me up. He said, wake up, you lazy nigga. Look at you, wake up. All of you niggas are lazy. So I woke up. I said, yo, who the fuck you calling a nigga, you blue, black, purple motherfucker? I said, you a nigga too? He said, not a nigga like you. I said, what's that supposed to mean? He said, you are a nigga nigga. I said, what's a nigga nigga? A nigga nigga is you. Because you were brought here. I came on my own. You are a nigga nigga. All I can say is, nigga, you's a loser. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm a firm believer that ain't no man out there that got a good woman in their life should be cheating on their woman, man, for real. I believe that shit. Got a good woman in your life should never be cheating on your lady and get caught. Because <laughs> when you get caught, you fuck it up for everybody else. Real talk, but women, you know what it is to make a man cheat? You know what it is? It's y'all women, especially in LA. Y'all look so beautiful and your ass looks so heart-shaped and succulent in them jeans that y'all be wearing. 
But it's a cruel trick y'all women be playing. Because when we take off some of your jeans, your ass ain't really heart shaped no more. <laughs> take off some of the jeans, the ass done went from a heart to a liver. Some of, some of y'all, why you feel him? You said it. Poppy said, oh yeah, damn. He said, that is crazy. <laughs> One time I got so drunk, I called the police on the ass and filled out a missing ass report. Straight up, it's crazy. But I'm gonna tell you this. Six months, me and my wife separated. Six months, we separated. And six months without no pussy, I had to get me some pussy. Any of y'all in there haven't had sex with somebody that you knew you shouldn't have been having sex with? Huh? Look, she said, I'm sitting next to the motherfucker. Look at her. <laughs> Shit is real. Yeah, them two right there, right? It happens. I ended up having sex with the corner store with the Indian lady. You ever had sex with an Indian, Indian woman with a dot on her head? Right. Because when you have sex with them, the dot on their head start changing color. Shit is real. Straight up. And it's the way she spoke to me in her language made me feel like a man. We was having sex, she was just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Your fucking dick is killing me. Oh my God, this is good, very good, good, good dick. I started finger popping her dot, right? She was crazy. When she came, she scared the shit out of me and everybody in 7-Eleven. She came. She made a noise. I never get a day in my life. She came. She said, here I go. I'm going to come. Here I go. Here I go. I'm coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Here I go. Here you come. Look at Mike, look at me. That's a school horn in Africa. <laughs> big, big bitch dance. All right, yo. I had a good time with y'all. Peace out. Sugar Show. Sugar Show, one more time. Brooklyn, New York. Wait, that shit's not cute. In Africa, fuck is good. When you're a fuck, it means you are rich. You eat every day. Fuck, crazy motherfucker. Everywhere I went, give me a fuck again. Give me your number. I know you have money. Tap the big bitch with cookies, please. I love her. Yeah, with the girl that had no pressure, give me her number, please. The bitch with the cholesterol, come here, please. Man. You look very rich. One time, this skinny girl said hi. I said, get out of here, you broke bitch. Get the bitch with the four titties for me in the back. Yeah. With diabetes, give me her number, please. Man. She's a trillionaire, I love her, please. I don't want no skinny girl. You skinny, I'm skinny. Fuck around, start a fire, goddamn. <laughs> you on fire, you skinny motherfucker. The only thing a skinny girl could do for me is show me where the big girl is at. Point her out, get the fuck out my face. <laughs> you skinny motherfucker, you can wear your bra backwards. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Y'all ready to keep it going for the blacks in the basement? What's up, motherfucker? Okay. I got a jacket and shorts. You know, are you hot or cold? This nigga. Is it just in case? I'm cold here, but I'm hot here. You gonna fuck around catching Ebola with that outfit, goddamn. Stop running away from Africa. We all don't have Ebola. Every time I tell a white man from Africa, they always think I'm hungry. That shit's not cute, man. I eat every day. What's up? It's my Janet Jackson with a concussion. I'm just fucking with you, right now. You ready to keep this shit going, motherfucker? Let's go make some goddamn noise. Every comedian on Blacks in Basement, I handpicked them myself. Why you come up here without a shirt on? <laughs> I am drunk than a motherfucker. 
Y'all been so drunk, y'all forgot where y'all at. I took a big good all you can eat, she lost her fucking mind. We standing in line and this bitch starts stretching. <laughs> cracking her neck and shit. We getting food, she ain't using no knife or fork, this bitch using her hand. Getting hot ass mashed potatoes, pow! Streaming, pow! And the Chinese man seen that shit, you know the Chinese make shit seem bigger than what it is anyway. He like, hey! You get a bigger bitch out of here! This is all you can eat, not you can eat all! <laughs> Big girls like looking at porn. Got me stuck on that shit. But I like looking at white porn. I don't like looking at black porn. So black porn, white porn, they got storylines. They got plots. Shit you can follow, then you jack off. A black porn fuck for no reason at all. Soon it come on, ding dong, who is it? Pizza man. Ain't nobody order no pizza. Walk em, walk em, walk em, walk em, walk em. Walk em. I ain't ready to come. I back up off that bitch. I want a menage a trois. The big girls, they want you to finger fuck while you're watching the movie. And I love finger fucking. I'm a finger fucking motherfucker. I will finger the shit out your ass. I'll, I'll finger fuck you at a hamburger stand. Let me get two burritos, all the fries. But you can't finger fuck everybody, fellas. Cause some women don't take care of their shit. Not y'all in here. <laughs> and some women shit stink. And fellas, I don't know if you know this or not, but stanky pussy will stay in your fingernails for three days. <laughs> that shit will not come out. And you be at work and forget about it. Like, what you finna do? I'm finna go eat me some, what the fuck? I mean, your finger spell is so bad, you got to dig in your own ass to make it smell better. Like, this bitch done fucked me up. This is some bullshit here. This is... My man was talking about where the freaks at. Fellas, you got to be freaky with a woman now. You can't, they don't want no ordinary ass motherfucker. Ain't that right? You want a freak? I'll be your freak. I'll take you home, get you butt naked. Put honey all over your body. Then lock your ass in a room full of bees. <laughs> I like that shit. I want to give a shout out to the ladies with the big titties. And the flat asses. Looking like a capital P. Start taking care of them goddamn titties. When you in the shower, don't just wash the motherfucker. Lift that bitch up and wash underneath it. I don't know what the fuck is that smell. You been sucking a titty? Oh, bitch, what the fuck is that? That's sweat. Bitch, you need some tit douche. And I do eat pussy. Niggas will stay scared to admit that. I tell you right now, I will suck a fart out your ass. I be eating that motherfucker. Oops, oh, 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 excuse me. Don't even trip. trying to go on dates. My woman left me and shit. I'm trying to go on dates. It's hard because women got rules and shit now when they go out. I asked this girl, could we go? Yeah, we can go out, but I got rules. I said, what's your rules? She said, one, I got to be home by 12. Two, we can't stop nowhere to have no sex. And three, you can't come in when you drop me off. I said, okay, that's cool because I got rules too. She said, what's your rules? I said, bitch, eat before we leave. <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> if you ain't fucking, I ain't feeding your motherfucking ass. 
It's a lot of difference between men and women. Men think they better than women. Women think they better than men. Fellas, we ain't got shit on women. We don't even order to fucking shower. I just found this shit out. When a woman showers, she got two motherfucking rags. She got one for her body and a pussy, then one for her face. A nigga in the shower, we got one rag. We in that bitch like this. Just. <laughs> now your body clean, but your face smelling like shit. Only thing we can beat y'all doing is saving toilet paper. You'll fuck y'all up saving some toilet paper. Because when a woman shit, she... She gets some toilet paper. Wipe her ass. Bow! Get some more. Wipe that ass. Bow! Get some more. Nigga shit hold everything. We bow, 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 bow. Get some toilet paper. Wipe that ass. And then we fold it. Wipe that ass, fold it again. Wipe that ass, fold that bitch again. And then we look at it. <laughs> Fellas, you ever been wiping your ass and your finger popped through the toilet paper? That's when you need to stop folding that motherfucker. And women, y'all gotta start sucking more me she didn't say, I don't suck dick. Well, bitch, let me lay this motherfucker on your wisdom, too. <laughs> Head is some good ass shit. How you doing? The fuck, you scary looking motherfucker. Stop looking at me. <laughs> That's your girl, man? You love her? Love a lot. <laughs> Would you let another nigga fuck for a million dollars? Wow. <laughs> he seen that. He <laughs> said, no. <laughs> Not only can't you dress, but you's a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> a million dollars, shit. You can fuck my woman for a million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars, you ain't got to bring that bitch back. That's too much, of, too much money. A million dollars. A nigga can fuck me and you. We tag team like, Leon, bitch, my turn. No homo. My stomach is bubbling. I got a shit. I got that diarrhea shit. That shit is hard to handle. You can handle that hard shit. Say you a club and you feel that hard shit coming, you like, okay, I got 15 more minutes. <laughs> Can't do that with no diarrhea shit. Like, okay, I got 15 more minutes. All you hear, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> you ever try to make it to the toilet and you say, oh no, I got this. But something happened like your belt buckle got stuck. <laughs> you're like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. And you just shit like all on the back of the motherfucking toilet. Then you scoot up so you won't touch it. <laughs> and, and fellas, I'm gonna get out of here, but fellas, y'all gotta start eating more pussy. Y'all don't eat, y'all don't eat the ladies clapping. <laughs> y'all don't eat it because women don't take care of this shit. They don't dush. I ain't tell you, the doctor say you shouldn't dush every day. Bitch, the doctor ain't smelling this motherfucker every day. You need to do something. Put some gum in that motherfucker and just chew some gum like this. Just. But if you going down to eat a girl pussy and she know it stinks, she ain't going to tell you. She been with that pussy all goddamn day. Only thing she going to be saying in her back of her mind is like, I know this nigga is not going to eat this pussy. This nigga is going down there to eat this. Oh, he doing it! <laughs> and you can't go down there and just smell it no more. You can't smell it no more, because they got shit down in stores you can buy, 
Women, they buy that shit, they pussy smell like chicken. And you know our niggas love eating chicken. I got a test, fella, a way you can find out if the pussy stank or not. Fuck that earwax and all that shit, sniffing it, fuck that. This is what you do. You take this finger, and you put it in that motherfucker. And you got to listen, because it's going to make some noise. Danger! <laughs> and you take that same finger, stick it in her mouth. And now she say, no, don't you fuck with it. <laughs> you ever be seeing a motherfucker? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Johnson, much love to y'all. AJ Johnson, let me hear it one more time. How about you, motherfucker? I got down the nigga with the all, all the season outfit on right now. You have summer, winter, and spring shit. What do you do? School, nigga, you like 38 years old. Fuck is... You go to DeVry, motherfucker, with the first school you go to. School, you should be in... How about you in the back? Like a... Military. I blow shit up. <laughs> I'm international. You little skinny bastard, what the fuck you looking at? How about you, motherfucker? You? Your gardener? A Mexican, surprise, motherfucker. Damn. I'm a gardener, you ain't no goddamn gardener. Nobody would say they're a gardener. <laughs> like saying, I'm a drug dealer, motherfucker. Goddamn, yeah. I sell weed every day, that's what I do. Rick Ross, that nigga sell. He's a, he's a work for you, goddamn. He sold a lot of drugs. How much did you sell? How much did you make, goddamn? All right, fuck that shit. Let's get the party rolling. All right, get the party rolling. Make some goddamn noise right now. I need some energy in here. Coming to the stage, this motherfucker is about to blow up. From Atlanta, Georgia, get up for comedian K Dub. Yo, let me hear it. All right, all right. What it is, y'all good? I fuck with y'all. Y'all a good ass crowd. Wave your hands side to side. Y'all look stupid in the motherfucker. I don't know. <laughs> Niggas just waving their hand like, what the fuck is we waving our hand for? <laughs> I fuck with y'all. Y'all good? Y'all all right? Y'all give yourself a round of applause. Come. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. How many of y'all got the shit together this year? Clap it up for yourself. You got the shit together? Nobody? Niggas tell that lie every year, don't they? Every year, nigga tell that same you lie. Every year. Next year, my year. Nigga, it ain't gonna be your year again. You ain't shit. If you wasn't shit in December, you ain't gonna be shit in January. That shit ain't gonna happen that fast. How many of y'all know somebody that ain't gonna be shit again? Clap it up for yourself. People just ain't shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. Everybody broke as fuck. Any broke people in here by a round of applause? You ever been so broke, somebody cut you a good deal, you still couldn't fuck with it? Nigga be like $10 for that Cadillac, bro. Man, god damn, player. You caught me on the wrong goddamn day, boy. I done got that motherfucker. Niggas don't give a fuck. How many of y'all gamble? Who played the lottery? Nobody? You played the lottery? We played the lottery, but we ain't gonna win shit. We don't wanna win shit. We just like to show you how we could have won. We like to walk right up to you, tell me, look at that right there. If I had a 743 and a 6, I'd have won that motherfucker. Like, yeah, I'm damn, you showed damn wood, but you put four nines. Yeah, I know it, but if you look right there, if I'd have put a 743 and a 6, I'd have won. Like, shit, I see it, but you, uh, if you look right here, you put 4 nines, goddammit. I know, but if I'd have put a 743 and a 6, I'd have won that motherfucker. My homeboy liked the gamble. He went to McDonald's and bought 36 large fries. He trying to win that Monopoly pill-off shit. He ain't win shit but two hash browns. Brady T. Jackson, Big Mama time. Now everybody in the blasting basement, I hear pick myself. But the next comedian come up here, I don't know this nigga. <laughs> I never seen him before. I didn't pick this motherfucker. I don't know how he got in this basement. But he's here and he's very talented. Give a big hand for Robert Zapata! Thank you, to the crowd. Where's you guys just got it right now? <laughs> Bob's you. Oh, I 
look at it. Uh, the reason why I say that because for some reason in America, Robert gets older, his name changes to Bob out of nowhere. And for those who don't speak Spanish, I always think Zapata means shoe. If you know any Spanish, Zapata owes the shoe. Zapata is a high hill. <laughs> yeah, you gotta call me by Italian, Bobby Stiletto. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Bobby Stiletto. And I grew up in East LA and shit. You know what I mean? I grew up with a lot of gangbangers, you know, a lot of Mexican cholos and shit. And they always hit the cholos. So you ever seen that shit? Come on, you got, hey, where you from? They said, what the fuck? I got here. What are you talking about, dog? <laughs> and, 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 fuck you, they said, what's up, dog? <laughs> hey, what's up, this <laughs> What are you down or what? I said, she, you better walk away, homie. I'll fuck you up, I said. I'll get up and get down, dog. I wanted to learn that shit. I can show the college, that'd be crazy, right? But it's not a normal university. It's not accredited, you know what I mean? It's a community college. It's called CCC Cholo Community College. Eric James Owens, he's a dean of schools for American Meme, right? He's all walking. He's all walking me in the first room, guys. <clears throat> Watch the podium. <clears throat> Cholo. <laughs> Welcome to CCC Cholo Community College. <laughs> For Stabby 101, take the red line. For Tattoo 302, take the blue line. For the upper glass line. For the track team, take the white line. Cause they don't have a track. Have you seen those motherfuckers, bro? They're fucking fast, bro. Dude, you guys are fucking fast right there, dog. You know what I mean? You drive on a 101, like, holy shit, was that a show that's across the frame? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Is there a track team going on right now? <laughs> Imagine that, that'd be kind of cool to introduce the runners on Lean 1, Ben Johnson from USC! Lean 2, McBride from UCLA! Lean 3, Flacco, CCC! <laughs> on your mark, get set! <laughs> Hey, dog, you supposed to be on the touch of the line, homie. Shit, fuck that. I've been in general, i nobody, dog. <laughs> be down the drive-by. The fucking track me. I'm on mushrooms right now. <laughs> That's a trippy-ass drug. You ever done magic mushrooms? Let me explain what... Yeah, okay. Ow! Let me explain what don't ever done it. What happens is time slows way down. <laughs> and you get repeats, you know, everything repeats up. I go, hey, you, be like, hey, you. <laughs> Fitness. I was trying to help on mushrooms, and the weirdest thing I saw was some lady sneezes in a park car. Oh my fucking god. She pulls up, she puts it in park, and she sneezes, and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I was like, bless you, but I saw, ha choo! So if you've never done mushrooms, I highly recommend it. You know what I mean? Do it at work. Challenge yourself, people. You know what I mean? We're ranked 26 in the world of math. We gotta raise our IQ and shit, you know? That'd be fucking crazy. And then of course at CCC they have the different classes and shit, you know what I mean? They got a fucking dance of theory. Hey homie, it's where we dance, you know? Why do I dance? We're ready to box. What's up, bitch? See that shit? And of course. They gotta learn that shit, right? That's how you learn the cholos, right? You know, the main instructor walks, hey, let's see here. Cholos and cholas. I'm gonna start with the basics, all right? I'm gonna start with the jab. What? All right, fool. I want you to sneak it, right, fool? I'm gonna catch my guard jab right there, see that shit? Now we're gonna uppercut it, right? I said it with the jab, I saw jab, uppercut. All right, fool. <laughs> Once you stick it right fool, you gotta catch him off guard. Jab, overcut. 
This is the red black box. It's called the Cholo K. Alright, fool. Gotta catch him on car, fool. And the finger on it. Cholo K, right there. See that shit right there? Cholo K, right there. See that shit? Cholo K. You ain't fucking seen that shit. Come on now. I know he has this motherfucker. Is he on the angle for what? It's a pressure button. Holy shit, there is, huh? <laughs> But of course they gotta do katas and shit, because every martial arts has their katas. Alright, man, right, homie, we gotta do katas, alright? Cholo style. Alright, here we go. All together. Here we go. Jab! 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 Uppercut! 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 Right cross! Right cross! Right cross! Right cross! Right hook! Right hook! Right hook! Right hook! Overhand right! Overhand right! Overhand right! Overhand right! Rabbit punch! Rabbit punch! Rabbit punch! Rabbit punch! Knuckle sandwich! Knuckle sandwich! Combo! Combo! They got Manny Pacquiao, you know what I mean? <laughs> Manny Pacquiao is the president of the Philippines at this point, right? <laughs> he comes in like, this is my impersonation of Manny Pacquiao, president of the Philippines. Alright, here we go, guys. <clears throat> here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands of attendants here and the millions watching around the world, we will proudly present you the five-time world champion, Grammy nominated senior, Oscar-winning actor, <laughs> and the current and reigning defending president of the Philippines, Manny Pac-Man Because we had a little bit of makeup for you! <laughs> and of course, right, he's Filipino, so he has to sing karaoke and karaoke shit, right? Uh, now that I am the Filipino present, I want to sing a song. It's from the bottom of my heart, it's called I Believe I Can Fly. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky Every day, night and day Spread my wings and fly away I believe I can soar Of course he has a backup singer I can soar! I can soar! I believe I can fly Hey guys, that's my time, that's my time